Welcome back, Tiger Teachers, for our challenge number three, Thinking Tools. I'm Dr. Trimmel here with Heather Kilgore. Your challenge this week is to demonstrate how do you provide opportunities for students to use different types of thinking. Well, let's take a look at our instructional strategies. Heather will be sending out an email to the teachers talking about our high yield strategies. Let's take a look-see. Here are all sorts of high yield strategies that you can use within your classroom. Let's take a look specifically at compare and contrast paper plate model. This is a really cool one. Students are able to use paper plates in order to write or in this case, compare and contrast two different, perhaps two different stories or whatever that they're studying. So let's say, Dollar Tree anyone? Are you ready to run and get some paper plates? Have these in baggies ready at any time for students to use. Let's take another look at a high yield strategy, brain in the game with four square. Here we talk about how brain in the game and it gives step-by-step -step instructions how you would use this high yield strategy. This is another great way to review for assessments or to go over a test already completed. Divide students into groups and ask them to analyze the question stimulus, identify vocabulary words, and predict what the question might be about. Note, this is about getting your brain ready to solve the problem, not actually solving anything. Add to this strategy with Lead Ford's Musical Mix Freeze Group, Grouping Strategy. This is a great energizer and a brain break. Let's talk about Lead Ford's free iPhone app. This is a game changer. There's a timer for teachers to use to help incorporate, incorporate brain breaks, energizers, think alouds, etc. The Sleeve Forward playlist is available on the phone app and it connects to other activities. This app is free, so check it out. I hope this week you will earn your flair of thinking tools. Make sure you tweet out hashtag CISD Pride with the number one. And this week's special prize is brought to you by the CNI department. Woohoo! One lucky winner will win a large bag of chocolate. Hope Yay. it's you. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Now let's look at the level up challenge for the this week. Sometimes the right piece comes just at the perfect time. So let's level up, guys. And remember that your prize for our level up challenge is a $100 Amazon gift card. Woo! So every Christmas time you up. tweet in the level up challenge, your name goes into the drawing to win the Amazon gift card. So your level up challenge for this week is what tool do you use to consistently engage your students in different types of thinking? So you can do the traditional uh, popsicle sticks in, in a cup with question stems or specific questions for your class, or you could also carry around a list of questions. This one is in a, a, a teacher's ba badge, which is a great idea, or you could have a flip ring of question stems available in your pocket or on, on, on your podium or somewhere in your classroom within easy reach. Now, if you want to get technical with it, get some technology going, you can always choose Stick Pick. <laughs> Stick Pick is a great tool. Um, it's on the iPhone or iPad, and you uh, have a stick for each, each student in your classroom. And there are different sorts of question stems. There are Bloom's question stems. Then there are also ESL question stems. And you can choose which, which stem works best for each student. And then it'll give you high, mid, and low level questioning for each student. So it, it really is a personalized way for you to have question stems for your students. 
and don't forget the Lead Forward app. This is an, uh, in this app, it, it provides many different things like a check for understanding timer because as teachers, sometimes we jump the gun and we ask questions and then we expect an answer right away and that wait time is important. So a check for understanding timer would be helpful. And then the think it up section and the instructional strategy section are all, all within the app. Now, infographics are another way for students to use different types of thinking in the classroom. You can always have the students hand draw them. That is an option. Or you can level up as well with digital infographics. So you can use the tool PictoChart, which is a great tool. Um, it is um, a Chrome extension that you can use. It's also web-based. You can also use Google Drawings to create. Or you can use my favorite, Canva. I use Canva at least once a day. I love Canva, so that's another tool that students can use. And all of these are free tools. So within our challenges, you have collected two pieces of flair already. We have the self-check flair, which are actually, we're, we have them right here with us. We're gonna go and take them out today. We're so excited. Um, and then we're gonna be doing our avoiding pitfalls next. And that's what you have uh, already earned. And then, but this week we have our thinking tools flair. And don't forget that bag of chocolate. You're gonna want that as well. Yes, one lucky winner will get that from this week's challenge. <laughs> so don't forget to tweet out CISD Pride where the I is a one. And don't forget to game, game on. on. Woo!